everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Terraria modded playthrough. I'm finally back from all of my holidays, my friends, and I'm ready to get back into this thing. We are post Moon Lord and we are going to go for the second post Moon Lord boss in today's episode. And that, of course, is Dragon Folly, a boss we need to take down in the jungly jungle biome. It requires the exotic pheromones, which actually, as it turns out, are pretty easy to make. 20 solar fragments and 5 life alloys. That is all that is needed. So, my friends, if you're still excited for the series and want to continue seeing more, if we could continue having those likes roll on in, that would be absolutely fantastic. Of course, if you don't want to miss out on my future content, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to go one further with your support, you can use code Python when ordering any of my Apex Gaming PCs for 5% off, or you can get a whopping 15% off any Terraria merch over on Terraria.shop with code Python. So, before we do anything, my friends, what I'd like to do is actually start off with the comment of the day. Froststorm Frenzy says, Python, that is the profaned cultist mask, not the profaned guardian mask. You still need to go for the actual mask. I appreciate you going ahead and giving me a heads up on that one. So, let's go ahead and have a look. Yeah, there we are. Calamity Valley. Vanity's mod. That is not the official mask from this boss here. So we're going to need to go ahead and see if we can't purchase for ourselves a bunch of baggies from the Profane Guardians to see if we can get ourselves the actual Profane Guardian mask. Let's see if we can go a full episode here without forgetting to switch on or off the greedy ring. I have had such troubles with forgetting to do that. It's absolutely ridiculous. So yes, greedy ring is on. Shop changer, modded treasure bags. Uh, we've got ravager. We need the profane guardians. Wait, hang on a minute. No way. There's no treasure bag for these guys. No. Oh, okay. So we're actually going to need to take down the Profane Guardians again. I mean, to be fair, the good thing about having to do this all again is the fact that I will essentially be warming myself up and sort of trying to get myself back into the craziness that is the Calamity mod. It has actually been a fair while since I've played in this series on account of me doing a bunch of pre-recording for the holiday. So yeah, you will have to bear with me while I try to re-familiarize myself. So then, ladies and gentlemen, Profane Guardians, not entirely sure how this is going to go, so um, let's just see what we can do. <laughs> First time! <laughs> I thought it'd take several attempts to get back into it. Oh, hell yeah, dude! Oh, we got it as well! <sighs> Thank you, Calamity Terraria RNG. Thank you very much. We only had to take him down one more time. <laughs> oh, it's like riding a bike. You don't fully forget, do you? There we are, ladies and gentlemen. The profane guardian mask. That is the proper one we needed to go for. And that, ladies and gentlemen, signs off on the profane guardians. We never have to take him down again. Brilliant. What is this? Hot Wheels. It's a Calamity Vanity thing. And we've got another Profane Call, which we don't need at this particular point. You want to know the funny thing as well? I've already failed my objective. I forgot to put on the Celestial Shell, but apparently it didn't even matter because I still managed to defeat him. So, um, you know, what ifs, right? Wait, wait, wait. Hang on a minute. Before we move on to the next boss... The planetary annihilation, wooden arrows are converted into homing bolts of energy and fires a storm of seven arrows from the sky. Hang on a minute. Cosmic Bolter, Daedalus Stormbow, and then a bunch of this stuff here. Now that, my friend, sounds like my cup of tea. <laughs> so then, there's quite a lot of elements to the planetary annihilation we're going to be needing ourselves. For example, a hallowed repeater. We need our Lunarian bow back out, which I'm pretty sure we do have. I remember making it quite early on. So there it is. Lunarian bow has been grabbed. We need living shards now. Might as well buy the life alloys while we're here. We need those for the exotic pheromones. So there we are. Cosmic bolter has been created all we need is more life alloys in fact and then some luminite bars okie mcdokie we could do that pretty easy like right we should be able to do this thing now there it is 
<laughs> okay, I'm looking forward to this one. I really am. So there they are, my friends. Exotic pheromones summons the dragon folly when used in the jungle and enrages outside of the jungle. Of course, it makes sense. So there we have it. We need to go ahead and do a little bit of a reforge on this bad boy. Uh, make it into Unreal. Love to see it. Number two, we grab out an endless quiver. There we have it. So we actually have, you know, some ammo for this thing. Okay, I'm pretty interested to see what this thing can actually do. So let's just zoom on out. Whoa! Whoa. Um, <laughs> that's kind of crazy, man. And these things are supposed to be able to home in? Okay, that's going to be a fun one. So then, ladies and gentlemen, as per the other recent bosses we've had, the first few attempts will obviously be attempts where we pretty much try to figure out the AI and the attack patterns and whatnot. So let's make sure that we've got our Celestial Shell on. I kind of want to try the Recon Scope, just so we've got a little bit more range damage here. Uh, we've got a little bit more range crit chance as well. 64% crit chance. That is quite an amount, if you ask me. Hell yeah. All right, so uh, yeah, guys, let's do this thing. I'm excited. So then, ladies and gentlemen, the dragon folly. Hello there, buddy. Oh my god. Whoa! <laughs> Already feel like I'm doing millions of damage towards these folks. Oh my god! Ten thousand plus damage per second. I'm seeing quite a lot of the time, actually. Hell yeah! Oh, hello. Quite a lot going on here. Look at all those projectiles. Yeah, interesting. Okay. I mean, to be honest, so far, it seems kind of similar-ish to Duke Fish one in terms of attack patterns. Quite a lot of dashing. Lots and lots of projectiles trying to roll in on us. Uh, but all in all, not doing too bad. In fact, we're almost back up to max health, in fact. Hell yeah, you love to see it, my friends. We have, would you believe, a little bit of adrenaline. Oh, my Word. Okay, this is excellent. This weapon is excellent. Holy crap. <laughs> Loving it. Oh, 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 oh. Was that a second phase we just saw? Dunno. Dunno. All right, about a third health left. I seem to be doing a slightly reduced amount of damage, though. Uh, oh, darn it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, we got boxes. That's alarming. Uh, is that supposed to be, like, foreshadowing for, like, Yaren eventually? Because I'm pretty sure that's what happens with Yaren. You have, like, a limited amount of space to maneuver around. Holy crap, holy. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Like, a fifth health? Oh! Not cool, man. Okay, we're now outside the arena. Well, are we allowed to be outside the arena? I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh god, such a little amount of health left. Come on. Come on now. Dragon folly, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, come on, come on. That health bar is so low. And she's dead. He's dead, she's dead. I don't bleed, no. I can't believe we just did that first time. Ladies and gentlemen, the planetary annihilation. <laughs> I mean, I'll be gosh freaking darned if that wasn't a bunch of annihilation that just happened there, man. Holy crap. We just did that first time. The second post Moon Lord boss and we did that first time. If that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. But there you are, my friends. The planetary annihilation. You don't have to be a fool to pass this up, seriously. Unless you're not playing as a ranger, of course. Wow. So, there we are. Dragon Folly Relic. We've got the treasure bag, of course. There is, more to the point, a treasure bag for this boss. So, that's pretty cool. It means we should be able to go ahead and purchase further treasure bags if needed. Hang on a minute. Is there no lore item for Dragon Folly? Only I've been going around this location a little bit here, and I don't seem to be able to find it. Doesn't seem to be hovering in midair or anything like that. Uh... Maybe there's no lore item. Oh, no, there it is. Hey. I figured there must have been a lore item. I just had quite a lot of troubles finding it. So, ladies and gentlemen, Dragon Folly. Near the close of the Draconic Era, there were records of the impure dragon species. Wyverns, basilisks, pigrons, and the like are documented, though none are sure 
how exactly they came to be. To this day, scholars argue over the true names and lineages of these creatures. Names aside, it is clear the first offshoots are pure enough to retain the great strength of the forebears. Naturally, this led them to be targeted by cruel defined mandates and most were hunted to extinction. It is known that Fishron's follies and the abyssal worms survived the purging hunts of the Diaphic era. Notably, they are now all reclusive or exceedingly violent. It is tragic how they evolved to be that way. Indeed, it is. Right, so there we go. Law item. We now have the treasure bag, ladies and gentlemen. Since it is a calamity boss, we're looking for a mask, of course. And unfortunately, no sign of one. We've got the rogue slash mage weapon. We have. What the hell is this? Grants immunity to dragon fire and electrified. Ranged weapons have a chance to fire mini swarmers. That sounds epic. <laughs> Red lightning container permanently increases the duration of rage mode by a second. Bada bing, bada boom. Very nice. We've got the docile pheromones. From the Calamity Vanities mod, of course, summons a small draconic swarmer. Okay, we've got some pretty interesting stuff, actually. Yeah, very cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and start sorting stuff out here, and we shall start going for a mask. Okay, so that is where you get the effulgent feathers from. I thought you might have gotten these things from uh, Yaren, but no, you can get them from Dragon Folly and Draconic Swarmers, apparently. So look at this. We can get Silver Wings, Ascendant Spirit Essence. Where the devil did you get that from? Planty Mercy, yep, that's pretty easy. You've got the Silver Armor, of course, again with the Ascendant Spirit Essence. I would like to know where the devil you get that stuff from. Oh, my. Okay, that requires quite a lot of stuff, actually. <laughs> We've got this weapon here, which I'm going to have a great deal of trouble pronouncing. Dratalionus. Dratalionus? I don't know how to pronounce that. That's probably about the best I could do, my friends. But uh, 277 range of damage requires auric bars and yarn fragments. Holy crap, holy. Ah. Oh. Blessed Phoenix Egg. This is the summoner item for Yaren himself. Whoa! All right. Very cool. We've got some pretty interesting stuff to come, eh? Blunder Booster? Requires a plagued fuel pack, which I'm pretty sure we can get, and effulgent feathers. Oh, it's a rogue accessory. What can this rogue slash do in terms of DPS? Let's have a little bit of a look-see here. Oh. Can you have, like, a right-click attack? No. Seem, I don't know. It doesn't seem that great. I was kind of hoping it might have pierced all five dummies or something like that for a weapon of this standard coming from, you know, the Dragon Folly, but uh, apparently not. I don't know. Maybe there is some other reason you would go for this weapon over other ones. Uh, but anyways, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and put it away. I'm going to continue with my melee slash ranger hybrid loadout that we've got going on here. I would like to try out these uh, stem cells here, though. You know, after going ahead and doing a little bit of reforging on this, I would like to have menacing, ideally. That would be amazing. Okay, boarding. I will take boarding. I am not too fussed about that. Uh, hmm... What do we take off in place of it, though? That is the question. Status is cursed. Being able to have a whole bunch extra minion slots. That's going to be a hard one to pass up, my friends. But to tell you the truth, it might just be the way to go. I mean, even without this, we still have six minions on us. With it, we have nine, which is awesome. But without it, it's still six. That is a respectable amount of minions still to have. So once again, remembering to put the greedy ring on, we're going to see about purchasing some treasure bags. We are looking for a dragon folly m -m -m mask. So, bada bing, bada boom. There we are. Dragon folly is right there. Seven platinum. Holy crap. These are getting really expensive. Boom. Uh, oh, hey. We've got wings. Okay, horizontal speed 9, flight acceleration 2.5, flight time 2.10. What about this? Uh, whoa. Okay, so these have quite a lot more flight time, but the Seraph Traitors is going to be hard to take those off, really, because it combines the effects of boots and wings. So we essentially have two accessory slots taken up in one. So... I'm going to keep the Seraph Traces. I'm sorry, but I am. We've got the Deadly Golden Eagle, though. That's pretty interesting. All right, next one. We've got ourselves a whole bunch of stuff here, actually. Uh, Burb Hat. <laughs> cool. Gilded Proboscis. 
What? All right, realistically, only got a couple more attempts at this. We are looking for a mask. Neither of those are a mask. We can go ahead and sell those back. Get ourselves a bit of money back. And we've got a rogue slash, sword explosion, and a burb hat again. Wow. That's kind of cool. Whoa! Okay. That is incredible, isn't it? 33% benefit from attack speed boosts. Insane knockback sword swarm receives 33% benefit from melee speed bonuses. <laughs> okay, very cool. Right. Do we have enough? We have enough for one more. Come on. There it is. We got it, my friends. We got it. Quite possibly on the final attempt there. Oh, no. We could have bought maybe one more. But still. I'm very glad we got it. So there we have it, my friends. The Dragon Folly Mask. We done got it. We have a Donut Item Calamity Pet. That's kind of cool. Don't need another one of those. Uh, we'll keep that just for the sake of why not. We don't need two of those. Uh, Folly Wings. Not going to wind up using them. Yeah. All right. Very cool, guys. We are able, at the very least, to finish the little display area for Dragon Folly. Boom. There we have it. So would you believe, my friends, Providence is up next. And I think to wrap up today's episode, we're going to go ahead and give him a little bit of a go. Again, not expecting to take this guy down first time, not by any stretch of the imagination. But we're going to give it a good old college try and just see what happens. So then, Providence, rather similar to the Profane Guardians, can be battled in both the Hallowed or the Underworld biomes. I'm going to go for the Surface Hallowed, rather similar to the Profane Guardians. And gonna see what happens so we're gonna stick ladies and gentlemen with the planetary annihilation and um holy moly you are very very big and has 900,000 health and you've literally just wiped out about a quarter of my health in one go oh my word wait i'm on fire i'm on fire oh that's not cool okay i'm actually almost dead already that's um not very good if you ask me holy mother Oh, there is some craziness going on here, my friends. All right. Uh, there's so many stars and whatnots after me, dude. Holy crap. Why are we dying? Turned to ashes by the profane goddess. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm assuming there's got to be a way of, uh, you know, not winding up burning to death. Ah, interesting to note. Enrages when fought during the night or when outside the hallow or underworld. But there's nothing really to assist us in terms of that burning attack, because that burning attack is really, really nasty. I might have to go ahead and wiki this one. Give me a sec. Okay, so the wiki suggests that you have to remain in close proximity to Providence, because if not, and you wind up too far away from her, she winds up setting you on fire with the Holy Inferno debuff, I think it's called. So, yeah, we've got to be real careful about this, my friends. So somehow, ladies and gentlemen, what we need to do is we need to simultaneously stay close to her, but while avoiding her millions of projectile attacks. Oof. That is going to be a big old oof, isn't it? So, ladies and gentlemen, let's just um, do it again. Let's see if we can stay nice and close to her. That's what we got to do, apparently. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whoa. That's a lot of projectiles. That's a lot of projectiles right there. Oh, okay. Okay. I think she might be enraging. Technically, I might be outside of the hallowed biome. Got to be careful here. Oh, I can't believe we've got 900,000 health to take down. That is utterly craziness. <laughs> it really is, though. Utter craziness. All right. So far, so good. All right, that wasn't too bad, actually. So much damage we need to do to this gal. It's craziness. Like, pure and utter craziness. There's already a lot of things on my screen that I need to be trying to avoid. Okay, once again, millions and millions of projectiles. Okay, so far, so good. About a quarter down. Certainly a way better attempt compared to before. So I'll give myself that. And I'm dead. There we are. Holy ore. That's what they're called, is it? <laughs> okay, I mean, to be honest, now that I know that we need to remain, you know, relatively close to her, 
I feel like I should be able to do this thing in the next episode. As I mentioned today, I just wanted to sort of give her a bit of a go, try to learn her attacks a little bit. But needless to say, we probably haven't learned all of her attacks. There's probably going to be a lot more nastiness to come when she gets to low health. Because one of the other things I read on the wiki is apparently as the Providence's health decreases, the severity of her attacks increases. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. So, my friends, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. I mean, come on, we've still had a really good one, haven't we? We've gotten ourselves the proper mask from the Profane Guardians, and we took down Dragon Folly first time going. And if that isn't a sign that this has been a good episode, then I don't know what is. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, I would really appreciate, of course, if you'd head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now... Obviously, any tips regarding Providence are appreciated in the comments area down below. But yeah, aside from that, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm back, babe. I'm excited to get back into this and get this series finished, truly. Like, we are really starting to get into the meat and bones of this. Like, really. We're getting into the proper craziness that is the Calamity mod. And I love it. I truly do. But yeah, like I say, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for all your support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.